Do you have a job? I have a job. You know what? It's not an awful deal. If it weren't for all of these people talking all the time. We've all heard them. We hear them at perhaps every job that we go to. I am talking about workplace cliches. That's right. We all love them. We've all heard them. Can't wait to hear more. And sure, they vary from workplace to workplace, but let's face it, they're all annoying. Perhaps the driest of them all, and it comes in rhyming form. Teamwork makes the dream work. <sighs> Who's dream? Teamwork seems like really a childish virtue in a way. Let's be honest, everyone's there for the same thing. They want to get through the day, they want to be as productive as possible, and so working together is required to achieve that. In my opinion, it's almost a given. You have to be at least a little civil, and you have to work together in a workplace. And you don't need a guy coming up and saying, Teamwork makes the dream work all the time. <sighs> this one gets me because I've heard it at almost every workplace, and it's awful. We're like a family here. I like to think of ourselves like a family. Yeah, no. No, I do have a family. I've got a, a real one. It's good. I don't feel like adding to it. I gotta be honest, I, I don't feel that way about you. And this one is just particularly awful, just because trying to imply that we have an incredibly deep bond. The justification is always the same. Well, we spend more time here than with our family. You can bond with coworkers a lot more than family. Obviously, they're not the same. The only way that it would be the same is you wouldn't necessarily consider everyone in your family your friend, as you wouldn't call everyone who is your coworker your friend. Communication is so important. <laughs> I love how that always comes from the people who are damn near incapable of communicating properly. A lot of middle managers say it because they want to emphasize the fact that they're going to talk to you and they're going to tell you to do things and they're going to bring up things or they're going to update you all the time and breathe down your neck a little bit. That's a pretty cynical way to look at it, but that's my suspicion. Obviously, communication is important. If you are going to be in a workplace working with other people, working towards a goal, you're going to have to communicate to some degree. It's kind of a given. I understand that there's a lot of people who are bad at communicating and there's a lot that does need to get communicated. I think it's really funny how ironic that phrase becomes and uh, how quickly it becomes stale. Another amazing one. It's so ironic because again, you hear it, or at least I personally have heard it at probably every single workplace I've been to. And they will usually throw this at you and say, uh, we actually care here, unlike some other places. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's a lot of workplaces that don't. As a technician, I see a lot of cars come in that have obviously been to places that don't care. So surely they're out there, however, I find it very ironic. Every single workplace has made it known, hey, hey, we, we actually care here, buddy. Unlike that other place you've been at. Yeah, okay, um, that's good. I hope you care. Uh, you're taking people's money, right? It gets really funny when you work in a, a bigger company too because the less these people are supervised, like the people who basically aren't paid a whole lot, uh, they don't care. They don't care at all. Like I've worked at a couple places like a warehouse and uh, a dealership that has a lot of places and it's pretty funny to see like higher ups go, you know, we, we really care here. You know, I like, I like to think that we really go that extra mile and we really care. And then, you know, a week later, you're with your coworkers who have pretty much given up on life. And they, they don't care. They don't. We're looking for a team player. We need you to be a team player. Yeah, everyone's a team player here. This one, again, with the communication things, <laughs> it's all the same. It just kind of washes together. And for a lot of people, they probably don't even register anymore. I choose to let them bother me like a healthy human. It's kind of like sporty and it's a very, to me, like an attempt at sounding kind of masculine and it makes you feel like, you know, we're on a team or whatever. These people just can't be happy with being a company or being a business. We have to be a team, a sports team. We have to be a family. It's a little backwards. I think you can be honest about what this is. I mean, 
the people are showing up because of the money, because they want to serve customers, you know, create a product or whatever it is you do. And you just don't have to make it that much more than that. I, I don't know. It's like this raw, raw team spirit kind of thing to get people going. And for me personally, it does the opposite. It just makes me die inside. I think we can come together and have a real win-win situation here. Let's be honest, win-win situations more often than not are just, are just really compromises between two parties. And chances are you're not really going to fully get either side. And the other thing that just absolutely kills me, and you know, this really depends on your personality type. For me, it's a big deal. I hate small talk. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I cannot talk about my weekend every Monday until I die. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be interested. People generally ask that to be polite or to talk about their weekend, which I don't care about. You know, I gotta be honest, sometimes I'm a little rude and try to dismiss them maybe a little too much, but oh my god. I really don't want to talk about my weekend every Monday. I don't want to talk about it on Friday. It blows my mind how on Friday people are like, got any plans this weekend? I pretty much try and shove it off. No, not really. I'm not doing anything interesting. And then Monday, hey, how was your weekend? We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> we don't. We can just go to work. It's cool. It's fine. I don't care. And of course it varies. A lot of people have a lot of friends at work. A lot of people want to talk about it. But other people just want to show up, do their thing, get paid, and go home. I'm definitely one of those individuals and I'm sorry if that makes you not like me or whatever. I don't know. There's certain people that definitely thrive off of those relationships at work, which I can understand and I can respect. It's just the repetitiveness of it that, that kills me. To go along with that, every Monday and every Friday, someone's got to say something about it. Someone just has to have a comment about Monday. <laughs> oh, it's a Monday. Must be a Monday. Monday again. It happens every week. Why are we talking about it? I don't get it. Probably one of the most irritating things I hear is Happy Friday, uh, which is basically just saying, thank God the week is over. I don't want to be here. Now, let's be honest, that's, that's going to be a majority of people, and that's not fun for anybody. I gotta be honest, if that's true for you, then you should probably be working on an exit strategy to go find a place where you don't want to say happy Friday. Or talk about blah 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 summer, nice day, the beautiful weekend you should take your car up blah 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 And this one can be persistent. In smaller places, there's a push to get to know everybody. I think we saw it in school a lot where we would have to introduce ourselves or come up with three interesting facts. If you work with people and you're spending 40 hours a week plus with people, you're going to get to know them. You're going to figure out their interests. You're going to figure out these basic things, especially if you're clicking and vibing with them. And if you're not, you won't. And then you don't have to worry about it. This sudden push to make people reveal these interesting facts about themselves can just put people on the spot and uh, don't accomplish much. There's another two cliches that completely conflict and so you can be on either side of the spectrum. I have an open door policy. If you ever have a problem with anything, you can come in and tell us. Uh, of course that doesn't work because chances are you'll have a problem with whoever said that or someone higher up than them. Chances are it's not going to be a problem that you're going to bring up to management. And then there's the opposite where you need to keep your personal problems out of the workplace or you know when you come here we need your game face on we need you ready to do this blah 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 people are people and they're always going to be people sometimes emotions just aren't that easy to dismiss the other thing i'm tired of would be useless meetings often backed by another pet peeve which is team food team lunch buy you breakfast whatever hey don't get me wrong free food is always a good thing however i have to admit as a young person who is paid a wage that puts me deep into poverty, it's a little annoying when I watch the company available to buy pizza for everybody a couple times a month by lunch. Don't get me wrong, one doesn't necessarily trade off with the other. And again, I'm not complaining, but sometimes it feels like the company is willing to do anything except pay you a reasonable wage. Again. Your wage is a ladder, and you gotta climb it. This is capitalism. I get it. Useless meetings are, well, useless and just that, a mandatory waste of time. Often they go over things that don't matter. I don't know. 
sometimes people who are higher up like to talk about numbers and if you're really invested yeah it can be great to see that you've improved most meetings in my opinion need to be kept short and sweet get to the point get out and the final thing is just a category that is just absolutely insane at times i think it falls within another phenomenon that's kind of happening with frankly, like hipsters and younger people, uh, especially like millennials who kind of do everything ironically. You can't really admit that you actually like something, so you have to like it ironically, so no one will make fun of you or whatever. You know, I want to wear a handlebar mustache, but I don't have the courage to say that I actually like the style. I'm just doing it because it's man i'm a hipster basically what goes on is i i've just called it bro talk and essentially it's just this heavy heavy use of slang i'll give you some examples yeah that ticket's gonna cost her about a hundo all right broski i'm gonna need you to take a shot ski at that and we're gonna get you a filter rip rip roger that that sounds like she's gonna pull the trig on that yeah let's just shoot it out yeah just shoot me a text yeah we got green lighted on that go ahead and do it yeah let me just shoot that order over to our parts guy yeah we just put a couple more on our sketch yeah just go ahead and look it over and give me the rundown yeah i'm gonna need you to rock this out real quick yeah come on back and powwow with a player So yeah, the gist is just kind of like people can't give out a command with like being all adding some extra language to make it sound b b b I, I don't know. Maybe it's the way I don't get it. Maybe it's the way they talk. It's this heavy business jargon that you hear everywhere that's just like, you know, nothing can just be normal words. You can't just use a normal sentence. It has to have a lot of spice. They just have to add that much spice to their life because they're so bored. They just have to make this sentence toxic. <laughs> Anyway, those are some of my pet peeves, a small list, and this has been a rant, of course, of uh, all of my favorite phrases and things I hear at work, all the things that uh, are just fantastic. Things that deeply confuse me. What are your big pet peeves at work? What are some things you don't like? Uh, let me know down in the comments, and also leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and you want me to rant more, because I'm gonna. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe all those things. I'll see you later, goblins.